Well, a memorial honoring Vietnam veterans is making a stop right here in East Tennessee. Leslie Ackerson is at the Wall That Heals with a look at what visitors can see there today and through the weekend. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Brandon Abbey. That's right. It's a half size replica of the actual wall that is in our nation's capital. It's traveling all over the country and has stopped here in Knoxville for the next couple of days. One of the things coming along with it actually is this really unique mobile education unit that has mementos and artifacts from those people that served during the war. And I have a veteran here with me, uh, Bill Larson. And Bill, you have done this in California. You've traveled with the wall. Why is it so important to bring this to different areas across the US? Well, what I found is that the last time I did this primarily was that the, the folks that come out here are the ones that can't travel there or just are not willing to travel at all or are afraid to travel. And the, being there, especially in the middle of the night, to seeing the, the veterans that come out uh, two and three in the morning, it's because it's the only time they're willing to come out. That's when the demons mm -hmm. are out and that's when they can come out and, and share with their friends. Mm -hmm. And that's again, the wall is open 24 hours, so it's volunteers are staffing it. You can come at any time. It's lit up. You can see the names. And Bill, let's talk about this unit over here, the, the education unit. There's comic books. There's letters from home. This gives us a, a unique insight into what life was like for these young men. Exactly. And the young men, indeed, they were. The average age was like 19. And uh, you have to figure that uh, all of them are receiving things from home, and they're, they're there, uh, but they're dated. They're old by the time they get there, and but it's still memories of home and ways to understand what they're fighting for. And the wall's only been here about 24 hours already. You have had visitors. What have you seen? How have the emotions been of these people that have gotten to come and visit? It's still a little early, but the ones I've seen out there so far, uh, they're out there to, to look for friends, look for relatives, and um, it's just like visiting the wall in D.C. It mm -hmm. gives you that feeling, that, that sense of connection to, to what they sacrificed. Thanks so much, Bill. We appreciate We Thank you for your service Thank as you well. Thank you very much. And uh, again, the wall's going to be open to, through Sunday, excuse me, at 4 p.m., and um, you can come down 24 hours and see it. They're setting up right now for the opening ceremonies. That's going to begin at 10. Um, and we'll have a little bit more of that coverage coming up later in our evening shows. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to send things back to the studio. Abby, Brandon, back to you guys. All right, Leslie Ackerson, thank you very much. Such a sweet memorial.